Welcome to Life Online. Uh, I really look forward to uh, seeing you this coming Sunday, uh, Sunday celebration at Life Christian Fellowship, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And uh, we're going to be looking at the prophet Joel. When you look at Joel, there's three things that as Joel sees as a prophet into the future, he sees near, near things, he sees imminent things, and uh, he sees far things. And uh, as I thought about that, uh, this is also a season uh, that I'm thinking about just a real practical application. Let me make that, uh, let me make that to you. So 12 years ago, uh, I called up my midlife uh, crisis road trip and I was getting ready to head out and tent camp through western parks or the parks out in the, the western national parks and uh, quite a road trip. Uh, one of my goals was to run a 10k race, Butte, Montana. Read about it, registered for it online. So the idea is that this race, it says, uh, heads through beautiful downtown Butte, Montana. Uh, I think this photo is from the 1950s. You can see some of the makes of the cars. And uh, yes, what a quaint old west town. But uh, what I discovered was this as I got into the race that it not only went through, yes, kind of that level downtown area in Butte, Montana, but it headed right up into the hills where there are copper mines in Butte, Montana, and my training was mostly just flat surfaces over at Halderman Field. And I may run the 10K and uh, know and have fair confidence that I can do that, but as I begin to climb the elevation up into the hills uh, around Butte, Montana, that was a different story. So let me just take you to a passage of scripture, Hebrews chapter 12. Therefore, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Catch that sentence. That is the near things. Look at what's in front of you in your life. What are the things that hinder, but what, it, what are the things that entangle you in the race and just suck the wind out of you? Deal with it. Deal with it today. It's right before you. Let's move on. Second sentence, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Uh, think about that one for a moment. That kind of has to do with this uh, season in front of us. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon race, but uh, it will take some persevering in this race. And then it says this, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Do you see the far things concept that's there? So here is Jesus. There's a joy that is set before him. So he endures, yes, the cross, the road in front of him, scorning its shame. But he has his eyes ahead into the future where God exalts him and he sits down at the right hand of the throne of God and he's positioned there forever as King of Kings, Lord of Lords over all things. Uh, in the same way, um, address, yes, the things that hinder, the sin that so easily entangles and do it quickly. It will uh, stumble, it will cause you to stumble in the race, but it can impair you for uh, quite a season of your life. And yes, run and endure with perseverance, but always keep your eyes on the finish line. That's what we run for. Uh, we want to make it to the end of the race. I had, uh, I remember a woman in that 10K race that I was heading up that uh, first, that main steep hill. Um, and I remember the woman that came up next to me as I was slowing down and she just said, hang in there, you can make it, don't quit. <laughs> So look to the finish line. This is how we live our lives. Uh, you'll make it in this race of life. Hey, God bless. Have an awesome day.